a lot of people after spring and summer is over, they're like, yep, sayonara, no more of these clothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mahua. So this video, another fashion video, is back by popular demand. I literally posted a similar video to this two weeks ago about fall fashion trends, a beginner guide for dummies. Not that you guys are dummies, but to just like simplify different fashion trends, things you should have in your wardrobe, and just how to style for beginners. So if you want to watch that first, go ahead. You guys have been blowing up that video, and you've been blowing up the New York City thrift guide video. And I'm really happy because you guys know I love fashion. I have my own clothing business as you can see back there they're my clothing pieces and I just want to make more fashion videos so why I wanted to make this new video on how to transition your spring and summer wardrobe to fall and winter I feel like a lot of people after spring and summer is over or any season is over they're like yep sayonara no more of these clothing we're gonna throw it away donate it or just put it away in a box and never see it again until the next year or the next season and that's not true that's what the consumption world wants you to think you know that's what the fast fashion world wants you to think you don't have to throw away or put away your clothing once that season is over You can always transition it You can always make it unique for that new season You guys know on this channel over here And what I always preach in my own business on Labyrinth Ave with my clothing company We are sustainable, we are eco-conscious We care about what we put on our body But we also care about the world around us So we don't shop from fast fashion We thrift a lot around here So that's what I'm always preaching And I hope it actually sticks with you You guys the way I filmed this fall video with all these heavy clothing while it's still so hot in New York Please you have to like and subscribe just for that effort because it was cold last week in New York City And it felt like fall, but now it's back to 90 degrees again. But anyways for this video I did not buy anything new. I just played around with the things that I already had in my closet my fall wardrobe is already what I had in the summertime and from last fall and I'm just like reusing it again to make it more you know in season kind of still following the trends that are in just making it very unique to me obviously make sure to watch the previous video that I was talking about on the beginner guide and the fall fashion trend guide of 2023 to really get like an in-depth look on the fashion trends that are in right now for 2023 and how you can use those trends and make it like your own unique taste and build these outfits I'm going to really show you oh my god these bugs are infesting New York City right now. You're supposed to kill them whenever you see them. All right, anyway. So in this video, I'm going to focus a lot on like skirts, maxi dresses, tank tops, tops, every single item of clothing, but mostly those things that you usually see in the summertime, just because I want to show you how to repurpose it again in the fall time and winter time, and how you don't have to just like Put it away just because it's colder now you know before we get started make sure to follow me on my instagram and tiktok it's at labyrinth Ave. i post every single day multiple times a day and i have a lot more fashion content new york city content and just like anything that you can think of so make sure to follow me on that all right the first category that we're going to start with are maxi dresses we all know that this summer season especially a lot of people were wearing like the flowy maxi dresses flowy skirts and it was very in in the summer and springtime but now we are going to bring it back in for the fall and winter time. So with my maxi dresses, I usually wear half sleeves or tank top dresses. And I don't really wear anything on top, obviously, because it's hot. I usually wear with like sandals and that's it. You're good to go. You don't have to really care about your outfit. But in the fall time, how do you build that up? How do you wear layers, right? So what I really like doing is wearing a long sleeve or a lace top underneath my dress and adds that extra layer. I especially love lace long sleeves because it adds a little bit more texture and it makes it more fun and gothic kind of and I just add a pair of boots and a little purse and that's it it's really hard to stray away from just like the classic black or navy or the dark colors especially during the fall and winter time but to add those pops of color you bring back in like the summer clothing that you have and the purses and accessories and that's what really brings the color back into your fall wardrobe another trick that I like that's also very simple and it falls in the trend of fall fashion which is obviously always turtlenecks and oversized sweaters I love taking my basic long dress that I wear during the summertime, especially with florals. Who says that you can't wear florals during the winter time and the fall time? You can take that simple dress and just add a turtleneck right on top and then add a leather jacket right on top. So this obviously adds that extra layer and it makes you very warm in the fall time. Something else that I wore in the spring and summertime are just like slip dresses. They're so easy to put on. It's a classic dress. You can wear it with sneakers and just wear it down. 
or you can wear it up with some heels and a purse. How I like to dress it up during the fall and winter time is just take a simple vest. Vests are very in the season. They're also very in last year and just put a vest right over the dress. And what I noticed, especially in vests, is that the trend is either like a classic simple one or with pinstripes on it that you can match with the bottoms. But to really add your unique touch into it, you can thrift a vest that has like an ethnic print on it or just like a different print on it. That's what I did with this vest, which is from Amsterdam. And then you can just throw on some loafers on top of some printed socks and it just adds that unique touch. That's what I mentioned in the last video. I just love showing my unique touch with socks like fun socks you know okay now let's move on to the skirt category we have maxi skirts we have denim skirts we have midi skirts we have mini skirts so many different styles that are usually reserved just for spring and summertime not anymore i got some hacks for you so usually my one of my go-to outfits during the spring and summertime was just like a long denim skirt with an off the shoulder light colored crop top and i loved wearing that i wore it in california i also got covid on that trip <laughs> and just throw on a pair of sandals. But now in the fall time, as we saw in my last video, long denim skirts are very in the season. So the way to really do it up for the fall time is to just add like a nice little button down instead of a crop top or a light colored shirt with your denim skirt. Add black boots or any knee high boots. This is an inspo pick right here of the outfit that I really liked with the denim skirt and I feel like it looks chic and classic but it's very easy to make. Something I love about denim is that it's timeless. It will never go out of fashion. Another thing that is very in this season and is always in is just like knit sweaters and cardigans, especially like very oversized ones. How I love styling my long denim skirts, just casually throwing on a knit sweater or like a cardigan. This sweater, as you guys know, I mentioned in my last video, I got it when I was probably 12. I kept it around because fashion always comes around. I was waiting for my time to shine, okay? I really styled this outfit up more by adding long brown boots with a heel on it. It looks very like done up, but it's very easy to put together because it's just a skirt, sweater, and just boots with a purse. Another very simple outfit that you can put together with a midi skirt. Usually I would just wear a midi skirt with a tank top or a crop top again, but you can simply just add a leather jacket on top of that look and it's like an all black monochrome outfit you can add some doc martens or boots to really cover up your skin or your legs more and then just add a purse a pop of color and you're good to go this leather jacket as you guys know it has been through everything with me like it's my mom's from the 90s i brought it like cross country around the world it has seen things we love a classic vintage leather jacket another item of clothing that a lot of people wear during the spring and summertime are just like mini denim skirts and this is kind of self-explanatory but all i really do is just add a pair of black tights and long boots and i love pairing it especially with a denim jacket as i mentioned in the last video denim on denim is a heavy trend right now it can be a denim jacket on top of a different colored denim pants it can be denim jacket on top of denim skirts and the more different shades the better the different textures the better so i really love this outfit because the belt really just like cinches it in and then adding the denim on denim with different colors it draws the person to your outfit more and it's just interesting to look at okay now let's move on to top so the first thing that a lot of people put away are tank tops but don't do that okay so obviously in the summertime i would wear just like a nice tank top with just flare jeans or any jeans but how you can really do it up for the fall and winter time is just add a button up underneath so if i have a plain tank top I love adding like a textured or pattern button up underneath to add like that extra appealing look again as I said vests are also very popular usually during the spring and summertime people wear a vest just on its own but how you can really do it up again is with a neutral colored button up underneath to add that extra texture I feel like it also gives like that preppy look which I really like another look that I really like because you can just easily throw it together is just adding a vest with nothing underneath and just adding a leather jacket on top with jeans and it's like chef's kiss is so simple but yet still kind of put together and you're warm during it all right the final category that i'm going to talk about are just bottoms so the first thing that is very popular recently are just jorts i just wear jorts usually with the tank top in the summertime i like now wearing jorts with a nice button down one side is tucked in one side is not 
adding a leather jacket right on top adding a little crossbody because as we know crossbodies and bigger bags are back in it's our time to shine we can finally put things into our bags instead of compromising what we need to take out because we have a tiny purse leg warmers are also very in so you can always add leg warmers but yeah this was like an unexpected outfit that i didn't think i'd like but it ended up really liking the final thing that i want to say in this category are just like jeans with a knit sweater i feel like a lot of people for some reason just put away light wash jeans after the spring and summertime and like white jeans but why you know there's like a thing where you're not allowed to wear white after labor day but why is that a thing so a trend right now as i mentioned before just like knit sweaters oversized sweaters cardigans so you can just simply throw on a knit sweater over your jeans, put on some sneakers or loafers, and it completes the outfit. That's all you need. But anyway, that is all I have for this video. Please let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. Are there any other summer items that you want to transition into the fall and winter time, and how are you going to do it? I just want to create a community in the comments below, especially if I missed anything and it can be helpful for anyone else. Let me know also what your favorite outfit was and if you're going to also style it similarly for the fall time. I just always want to give you a reminder that if you're able to, it is so much more important to shop small, shop small businesses, or shop sustainably, thrift, and buy secondhand because it is so much better for the environment. You find long lasting pieces that you can actually wear throughout your whole lifetime basically instead of buying fast fashion that is just trendy for the moment and it's not good quality, it's ruining the planet, workers aren't being paid right. So that is always my reminder, especially with fashion videos, it's just really important to do your part even though it does seem very small. But if everyone does it, it makes a very big difference. But let me know if you want any other videos like this. You know, again, I love fashion videos and this is my second one in less than three weeks. So this is a record you know make sure to like and subscribe because i post every single week i have not missed a week in over a year yet i believe and i am very proud of that accomplishment make sure to also follow me on my instagram and tiktok where i post every single day at labyrinth ave and also make sure to check out our podcast called difficultish i have it with my partner we talk about a lot of different south asian narratives and just a lot of different things that people like me go through people in my age bracket it's on spotify apple and all streaming platforms and also make sure to check out my web website where I sell a lot of my art and apparel. I worked so hard on my new collection. It's laradav.com. I think that's it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.